Berger 2009 wanted to see if people would be as obedient today as they were in Milgram's original study, which was conducted in 1963. He couldn't replicate Milgram's study fully because of ethical guidelines, but he tried to replicate as much as he could. There were a number of things he did to make it more ethical. He reduced the voltage that participants had to give to the learner from 450 volts to 150 volts. He gave all participants a screening test to check their mental health. He gave them the right to withdraw once in person and twice on paper to make sure they fully understood they had the right to withdraw. And he only gave them a 15 volt sample shock rather than a 45 volt one. Berger replicated Milgram's experiment 5 as this was the condition where Mr Wallace, the learner, complained about his heart bothering him at 150 volts. As in Milgram's study, the participant and the actor who pretended to receive the electric shocks were in different rooms. Berger replicated Milgram's experiment 5 because most of the participants who gave the 150 volt shock in that variation continued to 450 volts. Therefore, he thought he could stop his study at 150 volts for ethical reasons and assumed that his participants would have continued to 450 volts and been as obedient as in Milgram's study. Berger found that 70% of participants went to 150 volts. It was predicted that they would have continued to 450 volts. So therefore he concluded, people are just as likely to obey today as in Milgram's day. Time and changes in society have not affected obedience levels. A strength of Berger's study was that it was certainly more ethical than Milgram's study. He stopped the study at 150 volts so participants did not experience too much stress and the screening process excluded anyone who might have had a negative reaction. But was his assumption correct? Would the participants who went to 150 volts really have continued to 450 volts? We don't know. Also, the fact that he screened out certain participants makes his study less generalisable. But Berger's study does explain why people, even in the present day, are so obedient to authority figures. For example, people may obey their bosses at work to fire their colleagues. But the study does lack ecological validity, as it involved an artificial situation. People do not usually take part in a psychology experiment where they are asked to give electric shocks to another person. If you want more of my revision materials, you can buy my revision guides for both the Edexcel and AQA specifications on Amazon.co.uk. There are also resources on psychologydon.com.